Oh God. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry for the camera quality. We're gonna get it there. But hi YouTube, it's Fortune. In this video, I am talking about the food at UTSC, the University of Toronto at Scarborough. So I'm a second year student going into my third year here at this campus and my major is in population health with a double minor in public law and studio arts. So the food on this campus. The reason I'm gonna make this video like basically just talking about, it's a, four, it's a part of a series where I'm just talking about basically my second year experience here at UTSC, fully in person and also someone who lived off, res, like off campus, like, like I rented a place near campus so I can attend school a bit more conveniently. Um, so I'm just, it's just talking about all that. And this video is focused on food. And um, let's just say the food experience at UTSC is not good. And the reason I have to talk about this is because the campus is located in a very remote, not so remote area in um, Toronto, let alone Scarborough, um, in where there isn't much food within walking distance off campus. And um, the most, and it's a lot of the food around the area of the school is super, super unhealthy. I mean, there's at least two grocery stores within, you know, a 10 minute bus ride from campus, but it's just, everything is just so out of reach. And even like the Walmart and the big plazas near campus are still out of reach. You cannot walk there. You have to take transport and if you take public transportation you still have to do a lot of walking if you don't drive and all that kind of stuff so um the reason i have to mention that that makes food on campus way more important when it comes to being nourished while at school and the food on campus is terrible like i can't even sugarcoat it and try to make it seem like it's nice i'm going to be honest because i would like to see some improvement especially compared to the other two campuses at UFT, this campus does such a terrible job with food and it's such a shame because the amount of money you spent to invest in this campus, you really don't see it. So for starters, all the food places close way too early. Like that's the biggest pro like that's a big problem. Like you like if food places should, should close as late as classes end. And classes on UTSC can go all the way up until 10 p.m. I um on for in first semester I had a one tutorial, nine to ten p.m. 9 to 10 p.m. and there's a lot of classes that go just as late exams that go just as late so um having food places that can cl that don't close you know before 6 p.m would be very nice and that should be across the entire campus like all food places should close at least by 10 p.m or 11 p.m just you know because there are still students actively on campus there so that's my first thing number two this is just solely a rant about La Prep. La Prep is the worst place ever, not just in terms of food quality, but because of the people who work there. There's like one or two customers, not customers, one or two employees who work like at the food side that are quite nice and have really good customer um, service. But the cashier, and I'm gonna, this video is directed to you. And this is not just me. I've been told this by my friends and colleagues and like coworkers that this that th she's rude and oh so it was like and also like her other like employees too like there's only like one person at La Prep and this one dude who's really nice and not really nice but they're just like the bare minimum when it comes to customer service but this is particularly the cashier and this other girl like um they're really rude they have terrible customer service and they pick and choose who they're nice to like they're only like decent to like professors or people who just seem much older who um order from them but they're just really rude like and they have no good customer service they sigh and moan every single time someone comes to cash they don't give people time to make a decision to order their food they just are like next 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 and like they don't even give you time to like order after they just like get frustrated and they just seem like they and they just seem so like angry to be there and then they give you your food in such a half-assed way like they just like toss it to you instead of just giving it to you nicely or placing it there and all that kind of stuff and then they roll their eyes after you say one thing or ask one question and yeah she's a bitch the lady who works on cash and on top of that um the food is just way too expensive and it's not worth it like the quality of the food is super bad and it's not healthy like people always say it's healthy it's not healthy it's just frozen food that they warm up it's so bad and it doesn't taste good and it's not fresh like it's really bad and it's just super overpriced and super disgusting I will give it props that it's a really nice place to study. It's probably the best study spots on campus. But then again, it does close very early and it's really cold and um, yeah, just not the best place. But in terms of like study spots, it's pretty good. 
um however like i just don't want to go there because i had such a bad experience i have so many bad experiences at left prep and it's not just me like i wouldn't say this I'm like i would just say oh this is just my personal experience but it's a shared experience with a lot of students at this school because um yeah left prep sucks so i would be very happy the day it closes down however the study space that they have on the side is really nice so props to them for that um and yeah um in terms of other food places there's not much options at utsc and let me just before i get into it my biggest request for utsc i know they're building a new residence hall that will have an interesting dining center but i don't know what's wrong with just having a simple dining hall like the one that's on st george campus so a teammate and a friend of mine she took me to go eat breakfast at her dining hall in victoria college i believe it's called burwash i remember going there and there were so much options and i'm not vegetarian or vegan but i have a couple of friends who are and there is no options for them at scarborough but however if you go to downtown you go to one of the dining halls they have so many options for a pretty reasonable price hers was quite expensive because hers was all you can eat but at least having an all you can eat option is super nice for college students you know what i'm saying and then I know there's one like new college, I believe it's like $10 if you pay with your T-card plus tax if you pay with like your debit or visa, whatever, or debit or credit, um, you know, um, but it's super nice. So I don't know why UTSC can't invest in a dining hall and just replace it with all the sh garbage restaurants and fast food places that they have. Just have a proper, decent, typical college dining hall. I don't know why they can't build that in our school. Like they should replace the marketplace with a whole dining hall similar to like Burr Wash just make it like that. It's probably less, not as expensive as what you have there. And I'm pretty sure a lot of students would appreciate a d decent dining hall like that with a menu that changes every single day. And then menu that, and also a place that's self-serve. That's another thing. There's not that many self-serve places here at UT. There's no self-serve places that here at UTSC. The only thing that's self-serve is the salad bar. And that salad is so expensive. Like it's literally like $10 for just a cherry tomato it's so bloody expensive so having more self-serve options would be nice instead of just eating garbage pizza pizza and well i'm not saying pizza pizza is garbage but though you know what i'm saying like it's just not healthy for you eating pizza pizza and then like just the typical like frozen warm-up food that they have in the marketplace just have more options like have a dining hall like it's not that hard and a better place for someone to sit and eat like there's nowhere to sit and eat at Scarborough, like everywhere is taken up and people are using study spaces as eating places. And that's so disgusting because you want to sit down to study and there's like tomato sauce and there's just napkins. It's so messy. Just have designated areas for eating and more designated areas for studying and have study spots that are not in the hallways, have study spots in designated areas, build more lived in spaces on campus because that's what people are that, like, that's what's going to make people come to class. That's what, that's going to make people stay here and study. This campus is not welcoming and no one wants to stay here because there's nothing for them to stay. There's nothing for them to do or there's nothing here that would make anyone want to stay. It's like, okay, let me just quickly go to class and go home, get something to eat, study, go to the library and all that kind of stuff. Like there's so many kids at ETSC who just take the bus to downtown just to go and study. That's insane. And yeah, anyways, that was a whole tangent. But yeah, there is just nowhere to eat. Like the marketplace, very limited options, not that good, really expensive. And there's no changing menu like the only like two or three things change and it's just so disgusting like it's just frustrating and then there's like booster juice is like probably the like, only good thing on campus and even that like smoothies like are not always made consistently so yeah i just go to this booster juice in pan am but anyways um in terms of that there's like three different tim hortons you can eat from though i think i just survived on second year so i just survived second year on tim hortons to the point where i was eating so much tim hortons that i literally had to give it up for lent because it was just too much so there's three Tim Hortons on campus. There's the one at Pan Am Sports Center. There's the one in the near the academic uh, an academic advising and career center. Then there's the one um, like the Tim Hortons Express in just right beside the marketplace um, in the humanities slash science wing. And um, they all like serve different things pretty much. And the lines are always super ridiculously long. And um, that's pretty much it. But the Tim Hortons all pretty much like I think the Tim Hortons is like the only thing that doesn't close so like early um but then the hours do vary um in terms of other places there's a student center at first student center seems like really fun like oh my god there's so many different fast food vendors now i just do not like any of them i think the like it's just not that good like there's pita light there's subway and i will say like maybe like the best thing there is subway maybe pita light but it's just not that many healthy options like it's just so sad like there's nothing here that will make you refresh and rejuvenate it and especially if someone with a nice you know, um, this year I took part in the Novice Women's Rowing Program and 
this sport it like you know it was it's the very first like you know full blown you know organized sport program I ever taken part of and it just had a huge change in my body and I could not nourish myself after practice with the food on campus and it was just getting to a point where I literally had to like just it was just so bad like I, I just I would be starving hungry I feel very sick and lethargic and it was really bad eating the food on campus right after exercise because it was just not fulfilling and nourishing it just made me feel sluggish tired and more sick and um it was just not really working out it was not a good way to nourish myself post-workout and it just made me feel worse and didn't really allow for me to recover properly to get in to get on with my day so yeah and then on top of that there's just not enough food places on campus there's not much options for students and to the point where like i, I have a couple of friends i know um in my classes where they just like take the bus to scarborough town center just to get something to eat and then come back to class and even the like if you do want to take the 905 or a bus to a local like plaza there's not much options like there's literally like it's just more fast food options that are not really good and you shouldn't have to go that far or waste your money to transportate yourself somewhere to get a different option of food so yeah the food is just terrible on campus it's super overpriced there's like i just don't know why they can't have a dining hall i just a normal dining hall that looks like this this that 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 like it's just so disappointing and terrible and everything is so expensive and so overpriced and it's not worth it whatsoever at all and even when we have events like this friend of mine was I'm, a, I'm not gonna mention the event because i don't affiliate with this very negative video but i went to we had like a particular event it was like during like december and we were able to work with food services to get us some food uh for our event and it was like jerk chicken and like rice and peas and um like vegetable curry vegetables and then there's like cookies and cakes and all that kind of stuff and as someone who like i mean i'm not jamaican but like trust me i know what good jerk chicken tastes like i know what i know what authentic jerk chicken tastes like and i know when it's made by someone who also like you know maybe i don't know how to explain it but like it was just terrible like it didn't even taste like jerk chicken it just had the label on it and it was so like I, the chicken tasted spoiled it tasted like it's been out for such a long time the rice and peas did not make any sense the flavoring was just not even there it was like soggy it was wet and i'm like if any jamaican person or caribbean person saw this they'd be so offended by the food that they labeled as jerk chicken and rice peas and um even for the people who are vegetarian the curry vegetables were absolutely disgusting there was not it didn't even taste like curry it was just so like it was not even salted at all like it was just bland vegetables drowned in oil and like maybe turmeric for the sake of the color but it was just so disgusting and the only thing that was pretty much edible were like cookies and then like these cakes and i'm not eating cookies and cakes if i'm hungry i want to eat serious like hot fulfilling food and even then like the cookies are just n not that good they just taste so chemically too and that was very disappointing in terms of water, water is, I imagine water being difficult to access at university. And this is not even just in UTC, this is also in downtown too. So many of the water filters have red, like you can't even drink from it because the water filter isn't clean. So you'd have to like go around and about just to look for a clean water filter to fill up your water bottle sometimes. And that's not the case every day, but sometimes here and there, it'd be so frustrating. And yeah, <clears throat> so the food on campus is just god awful. Trust me, at one point, especially during exam season, it was just vending machines that people were eating from like imagine just solely vending machines and because there's so little food options the lineup for these food places would be super long and it'd be so bad like to the point where like the food is so terrible like i can't even like and then there's the bistro the bistro is okay but it's just overpriced it takes too long for the food to come and um you know i don't want to spend that much money on food every single day so if you're going to utsc there's no good food just bring your own food and especially if you're looking for something more healthier and I, at one point i actually thought about because i'm gonna if i can well god hoping you know i successfully make the rowing team because right now it's like may and um i'm yet to start summer rowing um i'm like okay that means if i have to and i if I, that means if i make let's say you know it's rowing i'm like i don't think i can eat at this utsc campus because it will just it won't work do i have to get a meal plan in downtown then right after practice eat quickly there then go to class and then go back to downtown to eat my lunch i was really thinking about that because there's nowhere to eat like the only place i can think of is like maybe going to scarborough town center and like getting fresh fruit from like the grocery store like the superstore that's there 
or going to um you know their food the food court in square town since that has a lot more options or and that all that kind of stuff but uh, sadly there's just no food at utsc it's very disappointing it's not worth it and um it's very underwhelming like i literally would just nourish myself with food from the very expensive um convenience store like there's just the food is god awful it's terrible like it's terrible like, i can't even like defend it it's awful like i'm sorry it closes way too early there's not much options there's no healthy options there's no self-service options there's just absolutely nothing like it's terrible and it's super underwhelming and there's just it's terrible it's terrible so um yeah like lots of just eating from vending machines that don't even work and all that kind of stuff is just so sad so if you go to utsc bring your own lunch bring your own breakfast bring your own dinner maybe the most you can do is buy yourself a coffee from tim hortons or starbucks and then the lineup for those are very long so you better come very early or just wait in line or just Go to Scarborough Town Center if you can and have time between your classes. But yeah, the food, mm -mm, it's a no. Mm -mm. Like the most I can do is drink a booster juice and even that's too expensive. So yeah. However, what I would suggest if anyone from UTSC is watching this, like I mentioned before, for residents, have a dining hall in all the residence buildings. Like there are so many different residence spots at UTSC, well not as much as like the downtown campus, but they have like townhouses and then you have like, the apartment building and then you have the new one. Have a dining hall in each of those that are self-service buffet kind of style and um you know just have that like there's the food here is terrible have healthier options like i to have more spots to eat and these places to eat must be different than places that you're going to study from like have different spots where you can chill and eat and relax and um just you know finish your food in peace so like trust me i would hold my food until it went cold just looking around for spaces to eat and it's just so embarrassing and it's just because like you're just walking around looking for spots to eat and people are just there studying and then you're just seeing oh it's just so sad it's very sad and it's a sad thing because this is a uft campus it's under uft when you graduate from this campus it will not even say utsc it will say uft and the fact that this campus feels like a second how do I say it? Like a second class citizen compared to like the other campuses. It's, it's, it's such a shame, especially with the kind of investment that people are making with their tuition. So um, for in terms of student experience, food is just terrible, terrible. Yeah, just I know there's, I, I don't care if I offend anyone because look, I use my money to buy this food and it's just so sad. It's like you're not even buying food to take, eat anymore or to like enjoy or, or nourish. You're just finding food to just keep you full and to keep you going. So yeah and even with that like i'm gonna know there's no small local businesses around scarborough or around the campus to um you know keep you um like to like like the, for you to even try or even cute cafes to study in and eat like, there's none of that like there's nothing and especially for it being you know still in toronto it's just it's just so sad so um i kind of wish the campus actually was built near scarborough town center or in another area in Scarborough, whether, like, for example, like, you know where La Manas is? I wish the campus was built there, closer to Rouge Park, and all that kind of stuff. But, um, no, the food is terrible on campus. Just bring your own lunch, or just, yeah, it's just, it's so bad. It's so bad.